Storm from Ninja Bunny Crochet. Today I have for us to do this Christmas tree stocking. This is a really cute pattern. It's basically mostly your basic stitches and some bobble stitches. It's a generous size. It is about seven and a half inches wide and 17 and a half inches long. So you can fit lots of goodies in this stocking for your little boy or your little girl, or even if you want to use it for yourself. It can also be hung up on a mantle or used as a decoration. So there's lots of possibilities for this little Christmas tree stocking. So let me bring the camera down and I'll talk about the hooks we're going to need and the yarn we're going to use to make this stocking. I used Red Heart Super Saver to work this stocking pattern. The first color I used is Cherry Red. Red Heart Super Saver is a medium for 100% acrylic yarn. The recommended hook size for this yarn is a 5.5 millimeter or an eye hook in case you wanted to substitute this yarn for a different a brand of yarn. These skeins come in 7 ounce skeins, 364 yards per skein. You won't use that much yarn. You're only going to need about 4 ounces of yarn total to do this project and that is going to work out to about, let's see here, if we have 364 yards for 7 ounces. We're going to need about 208 yards for the entire project. That's for all three colors combined. The second color is patty green. You only need a little bit of that for the bobble stitches and the stripes. And the next color is the white color. So those are the yarns that I used for the pattern. Now the hooks I use, I use two different size hooks for this pattern. The first hook I used for the bulk of it is an I 5.5 millimeter hook and then I also used an H 5.0 millimeter hook. You will also want to have a yarn needle and a pair of scissors. So once you have all your things together, so you grab your hooks, grab your yarn, and let's start working on a Christmas tree stocking. To start the stocking, we're going to start with the green color and a chain of 48. Once you have your chain of 48, you're going to slip stitch to the first chain to form a ring. I'll meet back up with you at the end of the chain when we form our ring. To start round one, we're going to chain up two, does not count as a stitch, and we're going to half double crochet into that same stitch that we just slip stitched into and half double crochet into each stitch around. Continue placing one half double crochet into each stitch all the way around the chain to get back to the beginning and I'll meet back up with you at the end of the round. I'm at the end of round one. We have 48 stitches. We're going to slip stitch to the first half double crochet that we made. Careful not to slip stitch into that chain two because that chain two does not count 
as a stitch, it's just a builder. And we're going to bring up our next color, so we're going to change colors. And it's going to be the red. chain two. Now I like to tie my ends, I like to tie my end together just to be, make sure that it stays secure. You don't have to tie your ends if you don't want to. I just like to make sure I tie a knot in it to make sure it's not going to come loose. I'm going to leave my green attached because I'm going to use it again. Now you can work over the top of this tail if you'd like or you can leave it hang. Um, usually for tutorial purposes I just leave it hanging and I weave it in later. So now we're going to also work a row of half double crochet in the red. So we're going to do the first stitch in the same stitch that we just slip stitched into and work one half double crochet in each stitch around. Continue working one half double crochet in each stitch all the way around to get back to the beginning and I'll meet back up with you at the end of the round and we're going to change colors again. I'm at the end of row two. We still have 48 stitches and we're going to slip stitch into that first half double crochet that we made and we're going to change colors to the white this time. Chain up two. And I'm going to tie this off again just like I did before. I said it's up to you if you wish to put a knot in yours or not. I just like to to make sure that it's nice and secure. And we're going to do another row of half double crochet again. First stitch goes right back into that same stitch that we just slip stitched into. And we're going to half double crochet into each stitch around. At the end of this round, when we switch colors again, we're going to go back to the green color. So we're just going to pick up our green. We can fasten off our white at that point because we won't be using the white again. So I'll meet back up with you at the end of the round. At the end of row three, and we're going to slip stitch to that first half double crochet we made and we're going to change colors again. We're going to go back to our green and we can snip off the white because we're done with it. So we're going to leave a long enough tail so that you can weave that in later. Chain up two and we're going to do another row of half double crochet starting back into that same stitch we just slip stitched into. and one half double crochet in each stitch around. So continue placing one half double crochet in each stitch around and I'll meet back up with you at the end of the round. I'm at the end of round four we still have 48 stitches. We're going to slip stitch into that first half double crochet that we made. We're going to pull up, we're going to drop our green and we're going to pull up our red and we're going to snip off that green. 
because we're done with the green for a while. Chain up two to start row five. So row five and row six are exactly the same. They're going to be half double crochet rounds. So starting with that same stitch we just slip stitched into, place one half double crochet in each stitch around. Continue with round five, then repeat it for round six, and I'll meet back up with you at the end of round six. I'm at the end of row six. We still have 48 stitches. We're going to slip stitch into that first stitch that we made, chain one, and for round seven, we're going to single crochet into that same stitch that we just slip stitched into and we're going to single crochet in each stitch around. So place one single crochet in each stitch all the way around to get back to the beginning. And I'll meet back up with you at the end of the round. I'm at the end of row seven. We still have 48 stitches. We're going to slip stitch into that first single crochet that we made, chain up one, and turn the work to start row eight. Row eight is where we're going to start our bobble stitches. The bobble stitches are going to be in green, and our single crochets are going to be in red. So we're going to be switching back and forth. To start row eight, we're going to single crochet in the same stitch we just slip stitched into, then single crochet in the next 21 stitches. This will give us a total of 22 stitches. Once you have reached 22 stitches, I'll meet back up with you. I have 22 single crochets. We're going to switch colors, so we're going to insert our hook into the next stitch and pull up a loop, bring our red to the inside. We're not going to snip it off because we're going to need it. Bring in our green, leave a nice tail, and pull up the green in, the in that stitch. Now I like to tie my ends together just because I like to make sure that they're not going to come loose and pull the work apart. That's up to you. Now we're going to bring that tail inside and we're in the next stitch right here we're going to start our first bobble stitch. So we're going to yarn over the hook, insert into the stitch and pull up a loop. Yarn over and pull through two. Yarn over, insert into the stitch pull up a loop, yarn over, and pull through two. Yarn over the hook, insert into the stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. We'll do that one more time so that we have five loops on the hook. Now normally we would yarn over and pull through, but we need to switch back to our red. So we're going to pull up the red and pull through with red. Then we're going to continue in the next 24 stitches with single crochet. And if you look at the front side of your work, there is your first bobble stitch for the top of the Christmas tray. So continue working single crochet till you get back to the beginning and I'll meet back up with you at the end of the round. I'm at the end of row eight. We still have 48 stitches. We're going to slip stitch into that first single crochet that we made, chain one, and turn the work. To start row nine, we're going to single crochet into that same stitch that we just slip stitched into, and single crochet in each stitch around.
So continue placing one single crochet into each stitch around till you get back to the beginning and I'll meet back up with you at the end of the round. I'm at the end of row 9, we still have 48 stitches. We're going to slip stitch into that first single crochet that we made, chain 1, and turn the work. Now we're going to start some more bobble stitches on this row. So we're going to single in the first stitch that we just slip stitched into, and this is for row 10. Then we're going to single crochet in the next 19 stitches for a total of 20 stitches. So single crochet in the next 19 stitches and I'll meet back up with you when you have a total of 20 stitches. I have my 20 stitches and we're going to change colors. So insert your hook into the next stitch, pull up a loop, bring your red to the inside and pull up the green and we're going to carry the red with us so we're going to work over the red and the next stitch we're going to make a bobble stitch so this next stitch is right here right there so yarn over insert into that stitch and pull up a loop Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, insert into the stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, insert into the stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, and pull through two. One more time, yarn over, insert into the same stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, and pull through two. So we have five loops left on our hook, yarn over, and pull through all five. We're going to single crochet into the next stitch, working with the same color, and we're going to bobble stitch into the next stitch, single in the next, bobble stitch into the next, and then in the next stitch is where we're going to change back to our red. So let's work on that next bobble stitch. So we're going to be carrying that red with us, and we're going to Work on our next bobble stitch. One more time. One, two, three, four, five loops. And single in the next stitch. Now we have one more bobble stitch to do in that next stitch. One, two, three, four, five. Yarn over, pull through all five. And in this next stitch is where we're going to switch back over to our red yarn and drop our green and leave it right there. And then single crochet in the remaining stitches around. I'll meet back up with you at the end of the round. I'm at the end of round 10. We still have 48 stitches. A slip stitch to that first single crochet that you made. Chain one, turn the work. And this is going to be a single crochet round. We're going to single crochet into that first stitch that we just slip stitched into, and then single crochet into each stitch around.
continue single crocheting into each stitch around and I'll meet back up with you at the end of the round. At the end of row 11, we still have 48 stitches. We're going to slip stitch to that first single crochet that we made, chain one, turn the work, and we're going to start with a single crochet in that first stitch that we just slip stitched into, then single crochet in the next 17 stitches for a total of 18 stitches. I'll meet back up with you when you have 18 stitches. I have 18 stitches and we're going to change color. So insert into the next stitch, pull up a loop, bring your red to the back, bring your green up, and pull up a loop. We're going to carry the red with us and we're going to do our first bobble stitch in that next stitch. So pull up a loop, pull through two, pull through two, pull through two, and pull through two. Five loops, pull through all five loops, and single crochet in the next stitch. Now you're going to repeat that four more times to make four more bobble stitches. Now make, you're going to do three more bobble stitches and in your last single crochet switch back to your red and then single crochet in each stitch all the way back around to get back to the beginning and I'll meet back up with you at the end of the row. I'm at the end of round 12. We still have 48 stitches. I'm going to slip stitch to that first single crochet that we made, chain one, and turn the work. This will be for round 14, for, excuse me, for round 13, this is going to be a single crochet round. So we're going to single in that first stitch that we just slip stitched into and single crochet in each stitch around. So continue single crocheting in each stitch around and I'll meet back up with you at the end of the round. We're at the end of round 13. We still have 48 stitches. We're going to slip stitch into that first single crochet that we made, chain one, turn the work, to start round 14 we're going to single crochet into that first stitch that we just slip stitched into and then we're going to single crochet into the next 15 stitches for a total of 16 stitches. So Continue single crocheting until you have 16 stitches and I'll meet back up with you once we have 16 stitches. So now we have 16 stitches and we're going to change colors so we're going to pull up a loop in our next stitch, bring over, bring our red to the inside grab our green that's still attached, 
and pull up a loop. Now we're going to work over the red and this green that's going across like this. We're going to work over the top of that so we don't have that big loop there. So let's start our first bobble. We're going to yarn over and go into that first stitch. Pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. Let's pull out a little bit more yarn here, I apologize. There we go. Now we can continue, yarn over, pull up a loop, pull through two, yarn over, pull up a loop, pull through two, one more time. And we have our first bobble stitch of the row. And we're going to single in the next stitch. And we're going to continue working our bobble stitches for seven bobble stitches. So I'll work one more with you. So yarn over. And we're going to pull up a loop. And pull through two. Yarn over. Pull up a loop. Pull through two. Yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, five loops left, yarn over, pull through all five, and work a single crochet in the next stitch. So we have two bobble stitches. We're going to do five more. Then when we get to our single crochet, we're going to change back to red and single crochet in each stitch all the way back to the beginning. And I'll meet back up with you at the end of the round. I'm at the end of row 14 and we're going to slip stitch into that first single crochet that we made. We're going to chain one and turn the work. Now let me just show you what your work should be looking like right now. This is, you should, it should start looking like the top of the Christmas tree. This is upside down. I mean, technically your stocking would be this way. But this is what it should be looking like. Now let me get our work here. Now for rows 15 through 18, we're going to repeat rows 13 and 14. So we're going to 13, 14, 13, 14 for row 15 through 18. So 15, 16, 17, 18 is going to be a repeat of 13 and 14. I'll meet back up with you once you hit row 18, but I'll start you off. This is going to be a single crochet row, so we're going to single in that <clears throat> stitch that we just slip stitched into and single crochet in each stitch around. So to start row 15, we're going to single crochet in each stitch around. So we're going to continue repeating row 13 and 14 for rows 15 through 18 and I'll meet back up with you at the end of row 18. I'm at the end of row 18. We still have 48 stitches. I'm going to slip stitch into that first single crochet that we made, chain one, and turn the work. This is going to be a single crochet row. So we're going to single crochet into that first stitch that we just slip stitched into. Careful not to let your yarn split. And one place one single crochet into each stitch all the way around.
continue working single crochet in each stitch and I'll meet back up with you at the end of the round.